in the last two sessions we learnt about the moving coil galvanometer we know now we know the construction and the working principle of moving coil galvanometer in today's class we will see how we can use this galvanometer to measure the current and voltage in the circuit that means we will see how a galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter to measure the current in the circuit and an old meet and a old meter to measure the voltage in the circuit so first we'll see how a galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter which is used to measure the current in a circuit ammeter so remember that the ammeter is always connected in series to measure the current in the circuit so galvanometer as an ammeter galvanometer converted into an ammeter or a meter to measure current now this meter or i can say the galvanometer has to be connected in series to measure the current for measuring currents for measuring currents the galvanometer has to be connected in series now for example if you have any circuit let us say in general we have a circuit where we have some resistance and a battery now if you want to measure the current in the circuit you have to connect an ammeter in series with this or a meter galvanometer in series with it so this is series connection now to do this we have to convert this galvanometer so that it's suitable for measuring the ammeter because we know that the galvanometer has some resistance so once you connect the galvanometer in series with the circuit the galvanometer starts drawing current or there will be a voltage drop or i can say that the galvanometer which is connected in series will alter the current in the circuit but we don't want to do that we just want the meter to measure the current but not to alter the current in the circuit to overcome this difficulty what we do is we take a galvanometer and then a small resistance which is called a shunt resistance is connected in parallel with the galvanometer coil so to convert a galvanometer into an ammeter we connect a small shunt resistance shunt resistance is actually a small resistance which is connected in parallel with the galvanometer resistance or galvanometer coil so i'll write here a galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter by connecting by connecting a small resistance in parallel with the galvanometer coil in parallel with the galvanometer coil sorry here it should be meter galvanometer m e galvanometer please correct it so why we connect a small resistance in parallel because the galvanometer coil resistance should not alter the current in the circuit therefore we connect a small resistance in parallel so that all the current passes through that small resistance and not through the galvanometer coil 
so I'll show you a schematic diagram which will show how we connect the resistance so this way we can enable the or we can make the calorimeter to measure a very large value of current for example let us consider a galvanometer of resistance rg so let this galvanometer has a resistance rg so let rg is the galvanometer resistance Ig is the current at which we the galvanometer shows the full scale deflection or Ig is the galvanometer current which gives full scale deflection I'll break it in bracket which gives full scale deflection means this galvanometer can measure current up to Ig. Now, let I is the current to be measured. Or current to be measured current to be measured or current in a circuit now for this case what should be the value of R R is the shunt resistance or the parallel resistance which we connect with a galvanometer coil now we have a galvanometer G which has a resistance RG and you are measuring a current I now to do this we have to connect a small resistance in parallel now we have to calculate what should be the value of shunt resistance R to measure a current I when the galvanometer full scale deflection is IG So this current will be then I minus IG. So I minus IG is the current through the shunt resistance. Now because they are connected in parallel voltage across galvanometer voltage across RG is equal to voltage across the shunt resistance because they are connected in parallel voltage across Rg is equal to voltage across R. So what is voltage? Voltage is Ig into Rg. Ig into Rg is equal to I minus Ig into R. So to measure a current I, R should be equal to R is Ig Rg divided by I minus Ig. Ig is the current for galvanometer at which the galvanometer gi gives a full scale deflection. I is the current in the circuit which is to be measured. So this value R is Ig into Rg divided by I minus Ig. This will give us the value of resistance which has to be connected in parallel with the galvanometer coil. Now next we will see how we can convert a galvanometer into voltmeter. Voltmeter. To measure a voltage like for example same circuit I will take and when you want to measure for example in this circuit let us say we want to measure the voltage across this R we have to connect a meter 
across R. That means in parallel with the circuit element. So, voltmeter is always connected in parallel with the circuit. So, we know that, uh, you know, it should not draw a very large current. It should draw only a very small current so that the current in the circuit should not be altered. Gallon, uh, the voltmeter is always connected in parallel. So, it has should draw only a small value of current. So to do this, what we do is we connect a very large resistance in series with the galvanometer. So a galvanometer can be converted into a voltmeter by connecting high resistance in series with it. Because voltmeter is always connected in parallel with the circuit, where you want to measure the current. So if you have, if your voltmeter has a small value of resistance then what happens it will start drawing the current and hence the current in the circuit is altered so in order to avoid this to a galvanometer a high value of resistance is connected in series if this value is very high if r is high it will draw only very small current and hence the current in the circuit will not be altered so you can write that a galvanometer can be converted into a voltmeter by connecting high resistance in series with the coil. With it. Now consider a galvanometer, same as before G, which gives full scale deflection for current IG. Now, we have to connect a high value of resistance R in series with it. Now, let us say this arrangement measures a current in the circuit, uh, sorry, this arrangement measures a voltage in the circuit. So, the voltage which has to be measured is equal to V. Let V is the voltage to be measured and RG is the galvanometer resistance and R is the shunt uh, sorry the series resistance high value of series resistance which is connected in series with the galvanometer coil now ig is the current now in this case so what is this v this v is actually the you know r value in the the so maybe this is some other circuit you know are in the circuit so this voltage only you are going to measure now now this is the resistance in the circuit and the voltage across this you are going to measure so let us say the circuit current is i now here we can write you know the voltage v is ig into rg plus r or I we you we want to find out this R. So we can write V by I G is equal to R G plus R or the high value of R is V divided by I G minus R G. So the value of resistance which you need to connect in series with the galvanometer coil is equal to V divided by IG minus RG. So remember the conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter is done by connecting a very high resistance in series. Whereas conversion from galvanometer to ammeter is done by connecting a small resistance in parallel with the galvanometer coil.